Hello and welcome to SkySide. This is the second installment of our short introductory videos into the world of air emission sampling. In this video, I briefly describe the core concept of how the concentrations of various gases in a stationary source are measured using light spectroscopy. Light spectroscopy is the use of light to study matter. Here is a simple diagram of the gas sampling train. This is an example of an in-stack filter arrangement. This means that the filter that collects the dust is on the inside of the chimney stack or duct. A heating system is used to heat the probe and filter holder to prevent condensation before the filter. The filter traps the particulates that may be in the gas stream so that they do not reach the gas analyzer. This is to protect the analyzer from damage. The sampling line is also heated to prevent condensation before the sample gas reaches the conditioning system. This is because condensate in the line can absorb some gases before they reach the analyzer, skewing the accuracy of the measurements. The conditioning system consists of a condenser pot only. Silica gel is avoided because they absorb some of the gases before they can reach the gas analyzer. Infrared and ultraviolet are some of the areas of the light spectrum that are utilized to continuously measure various gas concentrations. Different molecules in the air absorb different frequencies of light. Air with lots of a certain gas will absorb more of a certain frequency, allowing the sensor to report a high concentration of the corresponding molecule. An infrared analyzer measures gases that get excited under specific wavelengths in the infrared range. The concept behind this technology can be understood as testing how much of an emitted infrared light is absorbed by the air. Infrared can be used to measure oxygen, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and sulfur dioxide. Infrared is especially useful for measuring total volatile organic carbons, also known as VOCs. Ultraviolet is used to measure gas concentrations in a similar way but on the other end of the light spectrum. Ultraviolet can be used to measure sulfur dioxide and nitrogen monoxide. This is the core concept behind how gas analyzers work. And that concludes my simple breakdown. Thank you for choosing SkySide.